What is going on, everybody? So I am back today to talk about a new found footage film that I watched that I'd never even heard of before. I just saw someone mention it online somewhere, and I was like, you know what? Streaming on Prime Video, I'll take a look. And this ended up being one of my favorite found footage films that I've ever seen. And the movie I'm going to be talking about today is Butterfly Kisses. Butterfly Kisses is directed by Eric Christopher Myers. A filmmaker discovers a box of videotapes depicting two students' disturbing film project featuring a local horror legend, the Peeping Tom. As he sets out to prove this story is real and release it as a work of his own, he loses himself and the film crew following him into his project. So this is one of the most unique films I have ever seen when it comes to the found footage genre. And unfortunately, the director passed away a couple years ago, which is really sad because this is such a unique vision and I would have loved to have seen more from him. You have this story of a filmmaker named Gavin York, who at the beginning of the film were shown that he's at his mother-in-law's house. And when they bought the house, they were going through the basement and they found this box of old tapes. And they, uh, Gavin is an aspiring filmmaker who's been making short films since he was like 12 years old. And he goes through the tapes, and it, they're from 2004, and he discovers that it's these two young film students who are making a documentary about this lore in this small town of this creature called Peeping Tom, where if you stare directly into this tunnel for an hour without blinking, he appears at the end of the tunnel. And every time you blink, he gets closer to you to where he gets so close that he is able to touch his eyelashes to your eyelashes like when you're a little kid they talk about butterfly kisses and watches the films and these young filmmakers say go and interview these doctors they interview these people who say it's almost impossible not to blink for an hour but they think about it for a while and they think about the fact that the camera is essentially an eye and they point a camera at the at the end for an hour and Peeping Tom shows up. And so the entire film is them trying to discover if what they saw is real and the ramifications of those actions. And then we jump to the story of Gavin York, who with his film crew that's working with him on this documentary, he's having some financial issues. There's clearly like a struggle between him and his wife because he's not making a lot of money. They're going through a lot of financial troubles. And so the entire movie is he's trying to get this film made about these kids making this film and he's trying to go to paranormal investigators and all these people to try to get them to say hey what you have found is true this isn't a fabrication this is real and him being disproved by a lot of people and them thinking it's a hoax and that he hired actors and so you have all these layered elements in this movie compared to a standard found footage film where you have this threat of peeping Tom which in a normal found footage film it would just be those kids discovering him and figuring out whether or not it's real while at the same time you have this filmmaker who's doing something completely different that's trying to get this proved to be real and I think that that was such a unique avenue to take when it comes to found footage because it could have been very standard very stereotypical but it's the complete opposite and it constantly is throwing curveballs at you as the viewer telling you things and kind of moving your perspective one way or the other to where at the midway point of the film you're asking yourself is this really real or did he make it all up and I think that that's a lot due to the performers in this film making it feel so realistic you know you think about one of the greatest found footage films in history the Blair Witch Project and the reason why that film is so great was the marketing behind it pushing it as that it was this real thing and making people feel like it's real because the actors in that film feel like real people going through a real thing and this movie if it was touted as real it would feel real the people in it feel like real people. The dialogue and the way it's delivered is so naturalistic in a way that like people will stumble over their words and stuff like they're just talking to people. It doesn't feel scripted. It feels completely natural. And so it gives you that feel the entire time you're watching the movie. And I think that's the best found footage films. The weakest found footage films are the ones that feel like people are reading off of a script. They're so weak. They don't feel realistic. And this movie never took me out of feeling realistic. And what I love is it's not laden with jump scares there's a couple in it but for the most part it's just that suspense and that dread of this ever looming threat kind of hanging over your shoulder and I'm so appreciative of the filmmaker for taking a more nuanced approach to found footage because I feel like you know when you think of the stereotypical found footage film you think of like some kid holding a shaky camera you seeing someone like standing in the corner of a room or jumping out of the rafters and this movie has jump scare elements to it but I feel like it's so refined through most of the film that when those moments do happen,
happen, they're earned because they've been so re restricted the entire film. And this was just an incredible experience. I can't believe I had never heard of this movie before, and it's definitely going to be in my horror rotations in the month of October. So have you seen Butterfly Kisses? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought. I thought this movie was incredible. Really took me by surprise. Great performances. Just a really fantastic found footage. As always, if you like the video and subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future. As always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.